light all of a sudden that I was already talking about. And I put in that post that it was not an accident that there were all these suicides within the LAPD and within the DC Capitol Police. And let me tell you, last night, they came after me so hard, so many weapons. And it just makes me think, honestly, that we are run by such a corrupt group of people. And it is not an accident that I landed in a town with a woman who was homeless. I talked to her and she told me this story about the FBI agent who shot himself in the head. And he said that the FBI was so corrupt. And he said that the US was run by mafia. That's what she literally told me. And I'm telling you guys, that's what's going on right now. Like we are, like with Donald Trump, like we're fucking, it is crime family. Like it is total fucking crime family, like what we're dealing with right now. And they told me that I had to die last night. They came in, they hit me with a, a neuro weapon in the head. I like was screaming. I was like, they put a fucking, when it felt like a dagger in my fucking head. I woke up this morning because I also had posted something about Scientology to fucking John Travolta, okay, up my fucking ass. And he is a fucking mob boss, guy, that guy. He's a fucking mob boss. And I'm, I'm serious, like, the people and the level of this corruption is so sick. And the reason we have had no justice is because of the level of these suicide squads. Somebody had posted recently on Blown for Good, that is the Scientology YouTube video, about them having... I want to say it's like a death squad, death agents. And that is true. Like they have death agents assigned to people and Scientology is its own mafia guys. Like it's its own fucking crew. And they got like hundreds of people at their fucking beck and call because they own everybody. Everybody in Scientology is owned. And I feel like this is the stuff that is going to be coming to light now is that we are literally owned by like crime families and i feel like at this point in my life like the only way to get out of my this situation i'm gonna have to marry into a crime family like that's literally where where i'm at right now and i feel like that was what started to happen <laughs> to me like three months ago because i felt all of these freaking little guidos coming into my world and i didn't know what they were but i swear to god like we are run by fucking mafia